Hello friends and enemies. Welcome back to Happy For Now. It's me, Isabel, here with a romance recommendation list for your plus size girls. This is all romances featuring plus size main female characters. I don't have a ton of male ones. I have one that like we all rack and I've got some on my TBR. So I can circle back around if you want to rack video for non-female identifying characters who are plus size or larger bodies. So yeah, I've got five books for you today that range <laughs> quite a bit, but they are some of my favorites and they all feature plus size girls. I love personally reading about plus size women falling in love. I myself am not a skinny girl. <laughs> um, so it's just nice sometimes to read about people that have are more realistic to my life, finding love. First up, we have Neighborly by Katrina Jackson. This is part of her erotic neighbor series. The second book, this is the second book in the series that is a standalone. This is a polyamorous romance in which there is communication about the polyamory and it follows two couples and their wives or part, female partners who want to hook up with each other and are allowed to do so. And it is so hot, it is so sexy. They actually end up being like duplex neighbors. So they share a wall and they hear each other getting it on and they like go back and forth with that. And then slowly the two women befriend each other and <laughs> get on their merry way of uh, banging <laughs> in the best way. This one is so fun. Our hero, one of the heroes, one of the partners is like a boxer and they often describe the outfits she wears to the fights as like very tight and like sexy, but her being like very curvy. And I just really liked this book a whole fucking bunch. If you haven't read Neighborly yet, I highly recommend it if you're looking for a steamy. Uh, next we have an author I don't shut up about uh, very often, but it's Olivia Dade. She honestly, all of her books feature plus size main characters, uh, like all of her books. All of her books have plus size main characters. So you can't beat it. In particular, some of my favorites are 40 Love, which is a summer romance, a vacation romance. Our principal, assistant principal, goes on vacation to an island and her and a younger man hook up. She loses her bikini top in the ocean. So that's how they meet. He saves her from exposing herself to all the kids on the beach, which is pretty dang funny in my opinion. We also have her traditionally published books like Spoiler Alert, which has a Kirby cosplayer uh, dating a very big celebrity and All the Feels, which features apple-shaped woman who gets called unattractive a lot and dates a really hot and attractive man. So there's that. Uh, Olivia Date is a great place to start if you are looking for some plus-size women to read about. Uh, I cannot recommend her enough. So we have Forbidden Desire by Robin Lovett. I have not seen a lot of plus-size women in alien romances or, on that note, women who are aliens. And Forbidden Desire has it. Has it both. The female main character in this one, the sex goddess of the, her planet, she's taken the role on after her brother fled the planet. In some other books, you should read this book without the context of the rest of the books. And it is forbidden for her to end up with a human and give up her duties. They would like throw her in a cage until the next person with this power was born. She can like heal people with sex. And this follows her just like getting it on and healing all of these people through sex. And it is spicy it is really good and then also oops falling in love with a human she's forbidden to fall in love with this one is really really good it does it can stand on its own which is why i'm wrecking it here you might be a little bit confused on some of the world stuff but honestly i don't think it's that big a deal at the end of the day so this is just a really fun sexy ride with i love just seeing a plus size character that just gets to bone everyone also because that's a fun time next we have Brazen and the Beast by Sarah McLean. This is one of my favorites by her. I love Hattie and Wit is our hero. It is a masterpiece of a book. It is my favorite in the Bare Knuckles Bastard series and you could read this as a standalone. This follows a reclusive male main character who helps run a ice smuggling ring and he ends up tied up in a carriage that Hattie ends up in on her way to something and you know we go from there. It is an adventure and a half. It is a romp. It is so sexy. Uh, Wit is like a bigger man. That's why he's called the Beast. Uh, and I do enjoy that aspect too. I wouldn't say he's chunky necessarily, but he's a large man. And Hattie is a large woman who is just, she's overtaking shit, you know? Like she is 
not here for anybody's shit. When she meets Wit, she's embarking on the year of Hattie, where she prioritizes herself and her needs first, and lo and behold, this handsome, handsome man has been tied up in her carriage. Uh, and maybe is out to thwart all of her plans. So we follow this whole adventure and they have to figure out how they both can be what they want to be and be together. And I, I, I just, it was so good. So, so good. Then the last one is a surprise for me. It is a fade to black, which y'all know I don't read a lot of fade to blacks, but I really enjoyed this, which isn't a big surprise because I already like a lot of works by this author, but it is If the Shoe Fits by Julie Murphy. I feel like this one was a really great reality TV plus size heroine comp on the competition for a dating show setup. I think it worked really well. She has a meet cute with The Bachelor on the flight to LA. Doesn't know it's The Bachelor. She's not on the show yet. Doesn't know who he is. But they have some really great conversations on the flight and it's really, really fun. Like really smart uh, dialogues and like interactions. And this is a loose Cinderella retelling. I wouldn't call it a like purely Cinderella retelling. But yeah, she has a degree in shoe design and moves back to LA. Her mother, her stepmom, she's lost both her parents. So do content warning here for grief around loss of a parent. But her stepmom actually runs the Bachelor Bachelorette show and they end up getting her on the show, uh, which wasn't necessarily part of the plan, but it happened. And we follow her journey on the show as a plus size weight character and dealing with the uh, ridicule from the public, but then also the public really supporting her. And it was just really fun to watch unfold and see how Julie handled this. I do feel like Julie, Julie Murphy was really well equipped to write this book because she herself is plus size and I think brought the right knowledge to it. This is definitely though, like I said, a very, very loose Cinderella retelling, but it is an absolute delight. And I don't normally like reality TV show based romances. I did not read one to watch, like that just didn't sound up my alley. And I just picked this up because it was Cinderella, let's be honest. And I was happily surprised. This was an absolute blast. Again, it is fade to black, but it didn't bother me any. It worked for me as fade to black. And yeah, it just, it was a really fun read. So another great one that I said, like I said, I think tackles some of the like public perception when you're a bigger person. Uh, obviously I can only speak to so much as my size is not on the larger side of the spectrum. I'm small on the smaller end of the plus size spectrum. So yeah, those are some plus size romances that I hope you pick up. If you have any to wreck me, let me know in the comments because I'm always on the hunt. This is like one of my favorite uh, rec videos to go find books on. So would love that. And if you made it this far, you can leave me a TV emoji because the last book we talked about was Cinderella, retelling reality show or shoe. Take your pick or a pumpkin. Give me something Cinderella related. Uh, and I will have links to all these books in the description box for you, as well as links to be my friend anywhere on the internet. And I will talk to y'all in just a few days. Bye. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking, we'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away